and I was in my lap. I was like, okay. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you be? How's it going, baby? Hopefully, everybody's doing okay. Me? Honey. I'm doing okay. Besides, this eyeliner is running, and I don't like that. So, I don't know if I can tell, but I'm wearing purple eyeliner. A bunch of girls are wearing purple eyeliner. I feel kind of blind with all my glasses on, though. Even though I never wore them to begin with. I swear to God, me and this air conditioner are going to be fighting today. Don't go mess with her. Lay your little ass down. You can tell he's so sick, but he just... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, if you guys have seen this video, hi, I have no teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Your girl finally got her teeth pulled, okay? If I didn't know, your girl is getting dentures. And, yeah, you're probably like, aren't you too young for dentures? It, girl, age ain't nothing but a number. Age ain't nothing but a number. If it's gonna benefit your health, do what do what's best for you, baby. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't 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 freak on it. Don't sleep on it. Now it wasn't my plan to go in to my to spend my last year with my twenties with dentures. No. It was not. But Whatever makes my life easier and whatever is more going to benefit my health in the long run and or decrease it in the long run, so be it. And it also keeps me from putting out unnecessary money into the, yeah. Long story short, if y'all seen this video, I ain't got no damn teeth. And we get ahead of the process. So in today's video, we're going to be doing my lipstick collection breakdown. If you guys don't know, I am currently in the process of breaking down my makeup collection, baby. I ain't trying to brag, boast, or show off all the money I wasted because this stuff literally sits here on my shelf and looks pretty. I'm just trying to show y'all what I have, what I spend my money on, and show you guys all the cute colors that I got. That's it. I'm just trying to show y'all what I got. I mean, I ain't got nobody else to talk to about makeup. My, none of my friends really like makeup like I do, so. You know, maybe I'll find a person in my life or on the internet that likes makeup just as much as I do. And we can be friends, okay? I mean, I don't get, I don't vibe with a lot of people unless we talk about makeup, so. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm a weird person. But yeah, so. If y'all have never, like, watched one of my collections, I do break down my collection. I talk about the product, I swatch the product, get the whole nine yards, okay? And then when I get done with breaking down my collection, you guys will get an overall collection where I show you guys about, where I talk about my organizers, my brushes, and why I organize the stuff the way I organize stuff. That's gonna be a hot minute because I just literally removed my room around so not everything is organized the way it's going to be just yet. Like my eyeshadow files are still in the book bag, in the bucket, so. I got two buckets and a bag full of my eyeshadow palettes. Well, the eyeshadow palettes in my bag aren't completely full, but it's like a, there's enough in there. Okay, that doesn't include the two, the three that I pulled out to do my lips. I did. I used one for my brows, two for my eyes. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna be doing all that extra, and then I'm also gonna throw in a bonus of new product roundup where I show you all the products I added to my collection after I did all my filming of my collection right now. So yeah. 
So it's gonna be a, a, very, a variety of things. So let's start off this video with lip prep. You guys, I always prep my lip before putting on any type of lip product because I can suffer from some pretty dry, chapped, peeling of the skin type lip type situation. And depending on the type of formula of lipstick that I'm wearing, it can either sit well on top of that or it situate what I'm trying to hide, okay? So get you some good old fashioned cocoa butter lip balm because she's a masculine girl. I live for cocoa butter. It's honestly because I think most of us, I just like the smell of it. Like cocoa butter to me just smells so good. But this one is the cocoa butter lip balm has an SPF of 15, which this one only going to last me like what? Probably like a month or two anyway. As, as often as I apply lip gloss and chapstick, I will probably go for this one real fast. And this is something I can carry on the go, like in my pocket at work. Yada, yada, yada. But we also have the OG for me is Vaseline, honey. Yes, good old petroleum jelly. Now, there were some, so many people like, you can't put that on your lips. That's a, I'm not eating it. It ain't hurting nobody. I put it on. I get ready to put my lip product off. I take it off. Okay. I wipe it on. I put it on. And I wipe it off. My lips are fine. Anyway. Whatever the case may be. These are the two items I use to prep my lips. For the most part. On a good day. Sometimes like I do. I still don't forget to put stuff on and then I go on my lip product and be wearing mad hell it's a lot my lips look dry shit but yeah I definitely re recommend applying a lip balm before applying the um, lip products now oh shit oh, oh, oh. going in though this is the Fenty Beauty Thinner lip paint in the shade under dwarf. Now I think she released this like either 2018 2019 situation. This was a limited edition thing and then she bought it back full size and now it is permanent. Part of her permanent line. I think. I know they did away with the black lipstick, which I'm a little sad about because that was like my favorite. But this is under dwarf. She's really pretty. I like this formula because she's not too dry on the lips. She don't get me wrong. She can't be looking busted just like any other liquid lipstick if your lips aren't well prepped. But even with my lips not as well prepped, I don't feel like it really looks that bad. Um, she's not as uncomfortable as most liquid lipsticks. Now, the one lipstick, liquid lipstick in my collection I'm going to get to that is really uncomfortable on my lips if I don't prep it. It's going to be towards the end of the video because I'm working my way from the front to the back. But there is one brand of liquid lipsticks. I'm just like, mm. Okay. But moving on to more Fenty. I'm wiping the liquid lipsticks off, by the way, as we go because these stain my hand. And I don't really want to go to the dentist with stained hands because they take fucking forever to get off. This is the Velvet. Velvet liquid lipstick. <laughs> yeah, if I don't, don't know, my glasses, these are literally just for show at this point in my life right now because um, these are my middle school glasses. Yeah. I haven't had my eyes checked in a long time. And obviously, it takes a fucking forever for my eyes to focus on that. Um, yeah. This is Breadwinner. She is a beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown. I love a good chocolate brown lip. I wish I knew where my liquid, my makeup remover was, but I don't. So we're gonna check it out. Find her later, I guess. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, 
so yeah anyway moving on you guys i have oh my bad it's bad five of the fancy glosses first off you have a clear there's no point in me swatching it you ain't gonna see it it's clear but these are the uh gloss bombs this is in gloss slippers we have riri okay i also have a backup of riri um not because i need it but this is also my all-time favorite gloss that she just came out with and the gloss that i'm wearing semi on my lips right now she's a bitch girl you know it's good if i bought two and i'm not a backup person i'm not a backup person I, I just i don't see no point in that i don't want makeup enough to have a backup but where did her go I she is that girl she goes with almost any look that i've done i wear her legitly all the time not that i need any more gloss on my lips but i'm also the type of girl that likes to over gloss my lips too but yeah, she is that girl. So like I said, I have the Super Bowl version and then I have the regular version just in a straight tube. So I didn't buy it because of the Super Bowl color version. I just bought it because of the color. I thought the color was pretty and I was not wrong. I didn't get the liquid the I didn't get this lipstick in that in the re reshade. I didn't like that color. I was I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna try it. My friend's like, just try it. It might look cute on you. So bitch. It don't even look cute on the model. No. This shit is too pink. Uh -uh -uh. No, ma'am. I'll stick to new glosses, new lipsticks. I'm a new girl. Slow and through. Because you can't go with wrong with nudes, girl. You can, I can feel my bonnet like creeping up. And it's annoying. Good. I think so. Now my neck is just shit. <laughs> no. <sighs> Did I just get it on my glove? My jacket, probably. I'm about to just take this damn thing off. And it's not like I have any hair. But anyway. I I just I just feel like this color with that color that looks good was gonna look good on me. I, I prefer nudes all the way because you can't really go wrong with a new lip with a look. Um, and if you guys have followed me for a while, you guys know I am the worst lipstick picker when it comes down to doing gloss and like looks and putting like matching lipsticks with looks. This one's called Fussy, which is why I do. Oh, this cat's scared of like, Girl, it sounded like something was like spewing like water, but it's not. They're just bugs. But this is fussy. I lost my damn train of thought. I really thought something busted. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm on the second floor in my house. No, it's a bug. It better be outside, too. Good girl, I had a big bond bug in here earlier. I was mad as hell. And my window is sealed, but the seal is broke, so they can just. I don't, I don't have. I don't have a screen in my window. This one's called Sweet Mouth. This one is a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. It's more like a Barbie pink esque situation going on, but she is really pretty. Okay, wait, well, hold on. Let me uh. Yeah, a little more to her. You can kind of see it. She is a gorgeous girl, though. You know, you can't really see her on my skin, on my lips, bitch. 
Can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Because I really do think that's the prettiest color I got right there. Besides Riri. That's like my second. But these three are my, my go-to, okay? That and the clear. I only wear the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Did y'all hear that? That was my phone. My phone never popped. That was weird. Maybe I can keep that on pop. I don't want to. That felt really bad and weird at the same time. This one's called Fenty Glow. This is my least favorite one. It's not because it's bad, but when I put this on my lips, it just pulls straight orange. And I'm like, who? I I'm not a huge fan of orange on my lips. I like orange eyeshadow on me, but orange on the lips, baby. No thank you. No thank you. Gladly pass. Pass for five thousand, Alex. Pass. But yeah, those are the gloss bombs, baby. Those are some really nice formulas. I love shit, the doe foot. I don't know why I was freaking. It's just a trap stick. I thought it was like mm, my foot is here. First initial thought was my foot is falling. But it was a trap stick. Even though I say whatever, sorry. Um. I lost my chance to argue. Whatever the case. Anyway, moving on. It wasn't that important then. So, this is the Lady, the Beauty Creation Seal the Deal Matte Lipstick. This is the shade Lady Like. I don't know where this one came from. I thought I threw this away. I guess I didn't. It was under my bed when I moved my bed, so. Ew. Yeah, I don't know about all that. She might be actually cute with Brie Brie on top of it. She might actually be cute. Who knows? But yeah, this is kind of just a little wandering shade. I don't know where it came from. Because I'm pretty sure I thought I got rid of this. But she may not survive the next Declutter. And then we have the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. The Lifter Glosses are my favorite from the drugstore. Repeat, drugstore. Um, for $9.99, um, I'm pretty sure, like, in my inside Walmart, it's, like, $11.99, but whatever. Online, it says $9.99, but, you know, I'm pretty sure in my in-store, it's $11.99. It I don't know. I haven't bought a gloss in a minute just because I have all my Fenty ones, and then I have this one. This is the only one I own. I used to own Amber, but I didn't use that one as much. That was more of a pinky nude. Um... This is more of a nude, nude type situation. So, Amber is the only one I got rid of just because that was the one I used the least. But this is the shade Stone. This smells so good. The applicator is just about as big as the Fenty one. I like applicators like this because I have big lips. Naturally. Bitch, don't fuck with no, I don't, I don't, mm, I don't like needles. I am a broke bitch. Ain't no lip fillers. I'm not putting something I don't know what it is in my body because I can't accept the fact that I got flat lips, bitch. No, okay. Not everybody can be blessed to look the way they want. I mean, unless you got money like that and you can afford to plasterize yourself, go for it. You do you. But I don't do needles. I will sit and get a tattoo over. No. Hmm. Piercings can't do it. I want snake bites, but as soon as I see the, I'm going to break the fuck out. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Can't do piercings. Can't do needles. I want shots. Like, I don't, 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 don't do me. I will sit there, and I will take it. Because I, y'all not going to mess up and hit my vein either. I'm going to sit there. Excuse me. But I'm going to look at you like you're crazy while you're doing it. Most likely, like. <laughs> mm. I'm not much of a sissy person, but, mm-mm. Well, let me let me rephrase that. It depends on where the needle is going. Because if it's going inside my mouth, yeah, yeah, but I hope I don't clean. Um, I had jaw surgery about, we, we don't say 12 years ago, because I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't remember. I was 16 when I had it. And, uh, well, 17, technically. It was a year I turned 17. And they had to remove two hooks from here, a screw from here, and the bottom hooks that hold my mouth shut. Well, he numbed my other, the rest of my mouth. He couldn't numb that. 
girl, when I tell you that needle was like that long, and that shit hurt. No, I will take some shots as long as it's not in my mouth. Okay, I'll take that. So we have more of the Beauty Creation Studio Video lipsticks. Y'all, these are actually, for $7, these are actually really good lipsticks. This one is so ideal, which is a chocolate brown, I know. Um, again, I live for a good chocolate brown moment, honey. You can never have too many chocolate brown lipsticks with me. This formula is a lot thinner than the Fenty Velvet Lips. Now, I do feel like this is a little thick, but it feels like cloud nine. Like, you're on cloud nine. You don't really feel it on your lips. It feels like nothing on your lips. So, it's okay. This feels like nothing on your lips. But, if you're get again, if your lips are not prepped as good, it, it depending on when it dries down, it does, it can look a little dry. But, not like an uncomfortable dry. Like, I don't feel like it on my lips. Like, I feel like it's sitting nicely. It wears pretty good, you know. These are seven doll hairs, okay. They're not expensive. They're not expensive. Beauty Creations is not an expensive brand. Well, the eyeshadow balance are kind of like, it varies. I mean, it depends on what palette you get. And the prices fluctuate. They get, they always, some, most of them are always on sale. But Beauty Creations is not an expensive brand in whole, okay? It's a very affordable brand. And then we have Skeptical. Skeptical is getting into the burgundy range. I live for a good burgundy. Baby. She is Gorgina. I live for her. She is pretty. I've worn the shade, I think, I want to say roughly around four times since I've gotten it. And I fall in love every time. I fall in love every time. Okay. Then we have Last Touch. Now, we're getting into mixture shades. You probably like mixture shades. These are shades I specifically wear with like a chocolate lip color. You know, I mix it with that. Like, you know, the ombre lip effect type things. This is what I use these colors for. I don't necessarily wear these colors alone because they're a little bit, a bit too light for me to wear by itself. This one's called again, Last Touch. Even though she's a really pretty nude by herself, on my lips, she just, she turned pink, okay? And I, I, I can't do all that. She's cute in the center. But I cannot, I cannot do it all over. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am so real. Never meant to make you thought to cry. I apologize. Ooh. I got the hiccups. And they hurt so bad. They hurt so real. Okay. So, we have two more shades before we hit the last row. We have the shade Boss Up. Boss Up. Ow, shit, bitch. Boss Up is also another shade I wear with, a, like, a brown or something. Because, yes, queen. She's a lot of bit pink. She is a lot of pink. Again, she looks pretty as a center shade. Not all over my lips, but she is cute. And that's how I do. Boom. That's how I rock it. I don't mind keeping shades like that, though. This one's called Lioness. I keep wanting to say Loneliness, but it's called Lioness. I don't mind keeping shades that I have to mix because it depends on the color. So, but yeah, that is Linus. Linus is one of the shades I use again in the center, and sometimes I'll brighten it up with like one of these three because sometimes I feel like this is just too orange so I don't know she may not also may not say survive my last next declutter because 
yeah i don't use this one the most but i have her just in case i need her um going from this way on we have lime crime now this is the only lime crime lipstick i have it's the first time i ever tried lime crime i've used her several times already i think once or twice on my channel already as well this is in the shade wicked it is a little bit of a deeper burgundy situation She's okay. She's okay. I mean, is she drier? She's she's a little bit more on the drier side compared to like my beauty creations and my Fenty one, but she's not the driest liquid lipstick I own. Okay, not the driest. She does crack a little bit though. I will let you guys know that. Unless it just might be mine. It just might be me. But when I wear it, she does tend to crack. Again, I feel like it's a lot based off the preparation of your lips in your lips. Ugh, I just bit my tongue. I have like zero tongue. I cut my up. So I don't even know how I did it. Whew. That kinda hurt a lot. But yeah, it goes back to the preparation of your lips. I feel like if you prep your lips decently enough, you should be able to rock everything. But that's just me. So moving on to this KVD lipstick in shade Everlasting Highlight Hyperlight lipstick in shade Black Black Briar. She's a black lipstick, honey. I think I did a lip a look when I was wearing a black lipstick. This is the only black lipstick I own, so she's cute. I mean, does she have to be built up? Yes. This is not the most opaque formula I've owned, um, but she is buildable. She I don't know how drying she actually is because I only worn it once, and I hydrated the shit out of my lips that day. Because of the fact that I, I'm like, I don't want dry lips today. I don't want dry lips today. So, and the fact that I had to build her up, I was actually really kind of surprised. It didn't get too dry. But, she did stain and she was hard to hell to get off. She is not friendly on the come off part. Like, you gotta put some elbow grease into it. Which is fine, which means it's gonna have a little bit of lasting power. So I'm not mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. Now, fun fact, okay, let's go into the worst liquid lipstick formula for me personally that I've tried all year, but I keep them because I like colors and I can get past them as long as I wear the gloss with them. These are the one size lip snatchers. Okay, this is where I can tell you again, lip prep is a must because if you don't these will suck the life so juices out of your lips honey well i'll be like dry as the set of the cloth asshole yeah <laughs> dry the sahara desert dry the young mama's lace front <laughs> they be dry okay bitch they dry but if you put the gloss on top of them it makes it more wearable. Make that make sense. You give a double sided product, but one is dry and one like one is glossy. But in order to make the matte one not as dry and like life sucking, you have to put the gloss on top. I, I don't like that, you know. Do I keep them because of the color story that the colors I have? Yes. Um do I plan on doing a declutter very soon? Towards the end of the year. Um, are these gonna survive? Probably the fuck not. I mean, two might, but two might go. Okay. Two might, two might go. It all depends. So we have Nightwalker. I honestly um, like this one the most. This is the one I use the most. Again, it's a chocolate brown. 
You're probably like, oh my god, yes. I'm telling y'all. I live for a good chocolate brown, okay? My favorite chocolate brown lipstick, favorite brown lipstick in general, is Dominatrix from Jeffree Star. I said what I said, okay? I know Jeffree Star is controversial, honey. He's racist. Psh, girl, let me tell y'all something. I live in a predominantly new channel. And I've seen my first share of racism. We good. I mean, we gonna keep it pushing. Because I bleed red. We go out in the six feet under. And I'm not worried about what nobody else thinks about other people. Because I, I don't get offended unless you offend me in my face. You can talk about me on the internet all the fuck you want. Because you only see what I allow you to see. Now you try to shit in my, in my face. I might knock your ass out. Point blank, period. And then we can just both be catching charges. So. I'm not worried about it or sitting on somebody that don't know who I am. So this. I I did a little bit of thing. This is about how it comes. These are the glosses that go to this. Okay. At some point I was going to get rid of this and just keep this but looking at it i might not keep either one because these are very similar to the fenty glosses um so we're gonna squash these now this is not as glossy as the fenty gloss but she does have a little bit more shimmer effect than the fenty gloss I actually like the glosses on the one side. They're very comfortable, very pretty, very easy to use. Okay. It's the liquid lipstick formula I got issues with because there is no well way in hell that this shit this should really be driving the Sahara Desert. Okay. So these are the liquid lipsticks. This is the Mother Star. And I am a huge fan of Mother Star. I don't know if anybody else is. I like Patrick Star's mom, Patrick, Patrick Star's mother. I feel like she's very funny and very loving. You know, just from the few times I've seen her in his videos, like, she is definitely his biggest supporter. Which most moms are your biggest go-to. You know, this one is Trace Finder. Yeah, Trace Finder, I definitely mix. Um, but these two are definitely not shades I'd wear by themselves. Because, bitch, that looks like a teeter on my lips. Who the fuck put that? I'm not. I'm not wearing it on my lips, baby. Because, who? Who did this? Who me? Not no. Okay. Damn it. I let it dry. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. These are so hard to get off. <laughs> so hard. Okay, well most of it's off. That's all that matters. And then we have open wide, honey. Open wide is the brightest color lipstick I own in my collection. And I only wear her with certain looks, which is kind of annoying. Like, I want a lipstick in my collection that I can wear with all my looks. I can't wear this with all my looks. Like, I can wear it with a pink look. Mmm, bitch, look. Try me. I want a car. I do kind of want to see what this look is going to look with this, but I just like this to be. Too much. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I don't see myself keeping this that much longer to be fair just again because it's not something i can get away with with all my looks um like i said i only wear it with certain looks yeah where did all this hair just come from Oof.
But yeah, there's the glass. But then again, like that combo on the lips, because she is truly pretty. I truly want to do a Barbie pink look. I truly want to do a Barbie pink look. Hi, Barbie. Hi, kid. Ooh. I don't even like Barbie, so just the fact that that popped in my head makes me want to. I was never the Barbie girl. Like, I was not a Barbie girl. I was more of a let's play dress up type of girl but yeah guys that is my whole lipstick collection with slight reviews not bad I mean my favorite formula is gotta be Fenty okay it's Fenty my favorite go-to brand is Fenty for my lip glosses Maybelline for my drugstore Beauty Creation makes a pretty decent lip glosses one size is dry as shit Lime Grime, she dries, she cracks a little bit. KVD, I haven't had her long enough to really, me. It's not my favorite because I got the layer of that crap, but this was my all time go to favorite formula, and I wish she released more neutral shades because this formula it makes your lips sweat down cloud nine. Very smooth, very comfortable. They're lipsticks, honey. They, they is what it is. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna figure out where all this fucking fuzz is coming from. God damn, these cicadas. Locusts, cicadas, blah, 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 you wanna call them. They noisy tonight. But yeah.